welcome back everyone. This is SciTech with Tech Rye Gaming here with our 10th episode in our Planet Crafter 1.0 hardcore run. We're going to be picking up right where we left off in the last episode, so we'll jump right in. Alrighty, so on the agenda for today, uh, we're going to do our normal gathering and harvesting here in the beginning. I'm going to slap down two additional tier 2 drills, one in sulfur and one in iridium. Uh, we're going to try and build out the power grid a little bit. Uh, we'll see what we can do based on our material after our gather harvest. Um, and after that, we're going to try to get our tier 2 flower spreaders, or our, I should say our tier 1 flower spreaders upgraded to tier 2, um, and deploy some gas miners. And we'll end the episode hopefully with the next story quest. So let's get to it. Um, We'll start with our crops. We'll go see if they need to be harvested. Looks like they... I guess I wasn't harvesting everything. Maybe. Because the mushrooms are harvested, but the rest of the stuff isn't. So, we'll go ahead and... Of course, we're getting a storm right off the bat. I mean... Why wouldn't we, right? Gonna need some of this for what we're gonna be doing <clears throat> a little bit later, so we'll gather up this eggplant. Apologize for the storm noise. Drop off the green beans, take two with us. How much eggplant do we have in here? A lot. Okay, we'll drop this off over at the, uh... Over at the bio lab. Next, we're going to clean out our tier 1 drills. Is it going to fit? <laughs> Fine, we'll keep that eggplant on us. We'll eat it in a minute. I grab some water for us. Actually, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> we'll end up eating that excess food and water here in a minute as we're cleaning out the drills as it goes down so fast. One thing I get in a bad habit of doing with the, all these drills being so close and cleaning them out every episode is I get into hoarding materials and we don't want to do that, so. We already have, what, three full lockers of silicone? That's why I'm getting rid of the silicone. Okay. We got three and a little change to clean out yet. Uh, we'll go down here, do a silicone clean out. We only had one, that's good. Cobalt. Okay, it all fit. Titanium, magnesium, iron. How many iron lockers do we have? Three full iron lockers. Yeah, we're just we're just starting to hoard at this point. So maybe uh, what we'll do next episode is not clean out these drills unless we manage to use a lot of the resources um, during our our build outs today. I know we're going to have more to go in there, that's why I didn't, yeah, that's what I thought. 
Yep. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I don't want to waste iron, so let me go here. We'll dump that and that. We'll get rid of it. And then in the iron, I'm just going to grab all this, and we're going to try and knock out the rest of these lockers real quick. I know it's not on our agenda, but we kind of filled up our iron, so... Is that as far as I want that to go? It is. Where's that going? Uh, second dots. About even. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Let's go here. Yeah. Okay. That's straight. right how much iron I got left on me not much pull from our second chest just might as well knock all these out while we got the iron then we then we know for sure we've got enough when we fill up our three ca cabinets and we can uh, just sink the rest that sticking out. I'm going to fix that magnesium one eventually, but uh, okay, right to the bar. Hey, why are these off-center? Mm. Okay. Dang it. Three, six, nine. Let's water eat this food. They're off center because I made them off center. That's why. I think we have all of our... Did we finish our cabinets on this side? We did. Okay, perfect. Uh, we'll put this iron back. I'll go finish our drills. Now that I've let them fill back up again. <laughs> With a little ADHD distraction. It's fine. Silicone, cobalt, titanium, magnesium are full. Oops. Dump the iron. All right, we'll leave the rest of that out there to fill up. I know we left a little in that last chest, but that's fine. All right, um, we got to go gather our tier two drills now. <laughs> yep, it's not just our drills at the base anymore. Let me check something. Yeah, I don't want to leave without an O2 tank, so let me grab a couple of O2 tanks real quick. Oh, 
when we get back from gathering the tier two drills, we'll build our air filter. And then we'll go deploy our, uh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Cause it's nighttime. Uh, we'll go build our, we'll, we'll get back from gathering. We'll do our air filter and then we'll gather our two, uh, tier two air filter. I'm um, sorry. We'll, then we'll put out our tier two drills in sulfur and iridium caves. Where am I going? <laughs> Uh, early morning, folks. Early morning. Uh, thing I keep forgetting to put uh, what I need for that. I probably didn't bring enough for what I need for this. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just, we'll just do that. Um, what I ideally want to do is put a sink at each one of these tier two drills. I mean, maybe, I don't know. It's, it's all about timing, right? If I want to have to tr run back here after every drill to clear out everything, then, you know, we don't put them out there. But if I want to save time by having a sink at the tier two drills, um, we can build them out. They just become obsolete when we go to tier three drills, right? Because we can set what we want the tier three drills to collect. So it's kind of a waste for just the tier two part in between. Um, okay. Let's go cobalt. Pop over here to the iron, sink the rest. Osmium. All right, let's go to our super alloy cave. How are we doing on water and food? Let's top off our water at least. And the water drain is no joke. One of you left a comment on my videos. I apologize, I didn't write down what your name was, but uh, they left a comment about how they used the start of the video series to help them get through the initial part of hardcore to setting up a base, and then they died of uh, thirst, <laughs> which is, you know, it, it sucks. That's why I freaked out so bad in the in in the near the right after we got food and realized that I might not have any ice to drink or to make water out of before I got water collectors that's why I collected like 90 ice and chests <laughs> so if you're a slow player like me and you're trying to do hardcore uh, might not be a bad idea to keep 30 to 60 pieces of ice in a chest <laughs> just in case you are slow to getting to your water collectors before uh, all the ice melts. Ooh, we got an incubator. That's kind of cool. What's in here? Uh, where am I going? I'm getting turned around here. There we go. Hopefully we'll be back here. At the, you notice there's a pedestal here now. When there wasn't before, there was just like these particles. Okay, next stop is our uranium cave. But we have to fly back and clean clean our inventory out. Once we get teleporters, this becomes a hell of a lot faster to do because we'll just teleport to the different drill sites. The water is filling in nicely. Keep expecting to see pulsar uh, reactors. 
just haven't unlocked them yet. Uh, super, oh, it's on the other side. Super alloy. Boom, boom, cobalt. Iron. Sink the rest. Uh, I wanted to check something. Oh, we can't do the air filter yet because I don't have methane. All right, well, we'll hold off on doing that. Okay. All right, let's go get our uranium. Let's top off our water. Don't worry about our food. We'll just eat a green bean when we're out there. All right, let's go get our uranium. A little bit of a jaunt for that guy, but. So we're gonna drop these two tier two drills for sulfur and iridium. And then I think Oh, one of my one of one of the other viewers left a comment about the tier one drills in the aluminum field able to get aluminum. So I might try that out this episode too. When we're doing our tier two drills, I might drop a tier one out here in the aluminum fields just to see if that's the case and test it out for them. Because they were at, they were asking they they thought that they saw some other uh, YouTube uh, creators doing that in the aluminum fields with the tier one drill, so we'll, we'll give that a shot. I didn't think it worked. I thought the tier one drills only got the five core elements, right? Iron, magnesium, titanium, cobalt, and silicone. I was under the impression you need a tier two drill in all the specialty areas in order to pull those ores. Uh, but we'll give it a test and see what happens. It's quite possible it might be bugged. Um... Got a fair amount of uranium haul out of that. That's pretty good. What is this? Common larva? Yeah, these guys are just spawning in like crazy now. I guess I got some room. I'll pick these guys up. Eventually they become annoying as I'll get out. Oxygen level. Jeez. Paying attention to that. Oh, jeez. There was a room right out here. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. Nothing to see. Wow. Oh, uh, hold up. No, I want the, I want that. Let's ditch that. Uh, grab that. Let's ditch those. Let's grab that. You know what? Let's ditch that. Let's grab that. We want the... Uh... Uh, let's eat a food. That'll free up that slot. We'll grab that. Okay. I must have dumped a bunch of... Oh, yeah. We had that super alloy storm. That happened out here. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, pleasant surprises. Getting a bonus on our gathering mission. <laughs> Gotta remember to replace that O2, O2 canister. And that's why you carry O2 canisters. <laughs> In hardcore, because if, if you're any player like me, you will inevitably forget to pay attention. <laughs> And if you don't have one on you, you die. <laughs> we need a bunch of sulfur for this for the flower spreader upgrades. So that's why we're putting a tier two drill out in the sulfur fields, and why we're gonna do try and do some power power grid build out before we do the spreaders. Give the sulfur tier two drill some time to collect some sulfur. Uh, 
how much uranium do I have? Let's grab this. Let's see how many rods we can make. Okay, make two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we'll be able to get three reactors. How close are we? 750, we're at 620 on our heat. Thirteen point three three PA on our tier three. And we're at four. Okay. Energy two seventy nine. Wow, we Yeah, we're getting to the point where we need these nuclear fusion generators. Cause our, our tier two nuclear are just not keeping up. Our tier two nuclears do about three hundred and eighty power each, I think. This individual device is at 280, right? Um, tier 2 drills at 213, which reminds me, I better check power before we put these out. Yeah, we're gonna need power. Okay, so we're gonna change the order up a little bit. We're gonna put some power down before we do our tier 2 drills, because I don't wanna blow the power grid. I want these things to get working. Um, let's uh, take care of our water and food situation real quick. Probably don't need to worry about food, but. We'll do it anyway, just so we're not worried about it while we're working. All right, let's get some power generators down. So I think I'm gonna do three. Let me just confirm I don't need uranium rods for anything that we're gonna do. Uh, nope, those are fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't need them for that. You know what? What? How much is it? Yeah, I need power. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, oh, need explosive powder for these generator these tier two generators. How much iridium do I have? Ugh. Oh. To blow a rod on iridium. That's not any that's not good. Oops. Nine eighteen, where's my sulfur? Twelve, six. Oops. Um. Keep forgetting I can hold control to do that instead of clicking in there. I'll have to try that next time. All right, we're gonna dump. Do I have room in my mad mate? Mm, yep. Okay. So let's go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's three super alloy. Bunch of water. Twelve iron. Okay, let's go build the platform first. To house all these bad boys. Um, can we fit that here? Let's see. Water. <laughs> I mean, the sad thing, as much as we think this is going to be a lot of power, I'm going to blow through this in like 
in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> That's why we need these new reactors up. So I think the new reactors give us a thousand power each, which is three times what these do. Or a little less than three times what these do. I think what I'm going to do is skip also and reorder this and put our gas extractors ahead of the tier 2 drills real quick. I think I have enough. Let's see, that's 150. Five fifty. Five seventy-five. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I want to I wanna start getting this methane. Um, so that we have it and we can make our air filter. I want to try to reduce our O2 consumption. So two zeolite, iridium, and three super alloy. Let's go two of those. Six of those. Hopefully I got four zeolite crystals. Yeah, I do. One, two, three, four. Okay, that should be all we need, right? Yeah. Sounds like it's about to storm. So hopefully this is just a storm. Yep, okay. Alright, I apologize for the storm noise, storm noise, folks, but, uh, might put those, let's see if I can fit these under here. I can. Let's put them right here. Just so they're easily collectible. Okay. Now let's get our tier 2 drills out there. So we need 6 osmium, 4 iridium, 2 super alloy. Oh man, I don't have any super alloy rods. Let's grab 5... Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Six, four, and two. Is that what I have on me? Six, four, and two. Okay. Oh, let's just top off our water. Have at least one food on me, right? Yeah, okay. Me O2 canisters. Uh, let me just make up that one O2 canister real quick. I feel a little uncomfortable with only one because if we get in a situation where we have to use it, then we're out there without one. I'd like to have a backup. Okay. Let's go put our uh, tier 2 drill in the sulfur fields and then we'll drop one right here in the iridium cave. See, I like to put them, I like to eventually get a few of these in here. We'll do it right there. I know we collected up quite a bit of the uh, sulfur that's out here already. Um, wow, there's just like aluminum just like sitting here. Um, but I want to try and c collect up some more so that we don't have to wait on the drills so much. Just do that real quick. I keep an eye on my O2. I can go in the areas where I haven't been, like on the edges. I spend a little more time looking closer for this stuff. 
Let's go get our O2 refilled. Got a box in here, right? Yeah. Actually, let's do this and take this. All right, where do we want to put this drill? Um, somewhere closer to the door, I think, so that we don't have to travel as far. Let's see, we pop out. Let's put it up here on this hill. We pop out right there. Let's see if we can get it right here. Is it saying sulfur? It is. Oh, that didn't look like sulfur. That was weird. It wasn't even yellow. Try and collect up as much sulfur as I can here just on this run. Probably a lot on this side of the pod. Let's try over here. I mean, probably not a lot on that side of the pod because I probably collected it all up. And there's a fair amount of aluminum in this. Uh, it's an uncommon. Let's grab that guy. Let's go back and top off our O2. I mean, these scrub things are gonna spawn everywhere you're standing, pretty much. So, I mean, you don't really have to be too worried about picking them up, because they're just gonna spawn naturally where you're standing. I have water and food on me, okay. Got quite a bit of inventory space left. Let me pop that, that. This right side is probably going to have more sulfur because I've spent less time collecting over here. It would be cool if you could put HUD filters on that would like highlight things you're looking for, especially minerals. I mean, I guess it's a moot point later because you get drills that do this harvesting for you and drones that pick it up and all that stuff, but. Just trying to go around. Oh, look, there's a box I didn't get. How about that? Two iridium rods, some explosive powder. That was a good. That was a good box. Um, yes, sir. I'll deconstruct it. Oh, there's our nuclear generators. Yay! Although we probably can't make a single one right now. <laughs> they take a lot of pulsar cords, and we're not really getting pulsar cords at the moment. I mean, I think I know where we can go find some, but. Uh-oh. Storm coming. Oh, let's get over here just in case this is uh, meteors. Doesn't seem like it is. Yes, I know. All right, we don't have any food on us, but our inventory is almost full. Oh, let's do this. Just get that out of our inventory. I kind of want more sulfur, but I've kind of been messing around a little too much here, so we still have to go. Oh, we did put it in the iridium cave already. Okay, so we're done with our tier two drills. Let's head back. Don't suppose I'm gonna get lucky and find any sulfur in this. Um, I 
did. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Double check our iridium drill down here. It's not as pressing because we have a lot of iridium right now. Just want to see how it's doing. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, we just built out those generator or those reactors, and now we got the new ones. So let me see what that's gonna take. What's on our list to do? We're up to flower spreaders now. We did our gas miners. So the only thing left on my to-do list right now at 35 minutes into the episode is uh, flower spreader upgrades and the story quest. Let's go dump this stuff off. Um, dump the zeolite off. Let's go get some food, just so we have it on us. And now that we have methane, we should be able to make our air filter, so we'll do that next. Let's go up and check the crops. We'll just do this real quick since we're over here. Won't worry about the beans and eggplant. I mean, maybe the eggplant, because we're going to need it for fertilizer. How much eggplant do I have down here? Wow, almost two full lockers. Okay. Dump that off. Where's our mushrooms? Dump that off. Do we have a full cabinet of mushrooms? Okay, perfect. We're going to need those for bioplastic nuggets. All right. Okay. I apologize, too, for any sniffles or the way my voice may sound. Like I said, I've got bad allergies right now, so... Is what it is. I'll try not to be or sound too annoying. All right, let's do this. Okay, perfect. Fertilizer and bio nug, perfect. All right, let's see what we need for this air filter. Methane, two bioplast nuggets, osmium cloth. Okay, let's go see if we have any methane out here. Zeolite, two pulsar quartz, three pulsar quartz, two osmium, two sulfur. Okay, we'll do this, I guess. Actually, put my thing here. Yeah, okay. Sorry, folks, I'm just trying to decide where I want to put stuff and make sure that I'm leaving room for extra lockers for other things. Because I know we're going to start getting a lot of this kind of mid-game material soon. All right, um, back to what we were doing. Oh, yeah, I didn't put my methane in here. Let's do that. I'll 
take the one that we need. Grab our cloth. Uh, grab our super alloy. What else did we need? Should have pinned it. Let's pin it. <laughs> Osmium. I guess that's not so bad. Uh oh, super alloy. I can tell by the. I think it's super alloy. Purple sky. Oh, it might be osmium. It's blue sky. I'm a little bit colorblind too, folks, in case you don't know. Or it's just a purple storm. Dang, that sucks. Kind of wanted it to be super alloy. That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen just a purple sky storm with no meteorites. All right. I mean, we're getting a blue hue inside though, so it almost seems like it's supposed to be an osmium storm. I don't know. All right, let's go make our air filter. And equip it. Did we get a tier three exosuit yet? Let's see. Oh, we did. We didn't make it. Uh, yeah, let's get this. Let's do that. Two osmium, uranium, and super alloy. Oh, let's pin it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Two of those. Uh, uranium. Oops. Four more slots, that's good. Oh, didn't we get that tier two deconstruction ship as well? We did. Oh, that's easy enough to make. Let's do that as well. Okay, so now we can, maybe not this episode, we'll see how much time we have left. If we get done with the story mission, we still have time left, we will uh, maybe go hit a couple wrecks up that we know had those tier 2 deconstruction walls in them, or bunkers, and mess around, explore a little bit. Alright, I needed food, I went over there and I forgot to get food, so let's do that. I waste a lot of time going back and forth because I am scatterbrained, so <laughs> I apologize. Alright, I think... Let me double check what these uh, uh, fusion reactors take, and I think and we'll check our power. What do these tier 2 spreaders take? Uh, 50 energy versus 37. So 13 more energy a piece, and I think we have six or nine. Let me see. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. So 3 times 8 is 24, 8, it's 105 power that we're going to use for the flower spreaders. Okay, we got plenty. Got to wait for this storm to finish before we can go out and do any work on these flower spreaders. So we can get ready and gather our materials though. So we're going to get all the water back we need. We're going to get... One super alloy, one fertilizer. So I basically just need eight fertilizer and eight super alloy on me.
way better. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's grab our eight super alloy. Okay, now we're gonna have to come back and empty out a little bit here and there. Um, oh, maybe we had nine spreaders. kind of wanted to check our what are these producing oxygen and plants okay before we do the rest of these I want to I know I just did one but <laughs> let's take a look at what our oxygen and plant and biomass stuff is doing so our oxygen is at 6830 and our biomass is at 1221 right plants here we go 1221 yeah so we're at 1221 and 6830 Remember that, because we'll take a look at this when we're done. So grass spreader, grass spreader, grass spreader, grass spreader, flower spreader. Pull that out, get that, grab this, put it here, put it here, put that back in. There's a grass spreader, there we go. Pull that, get that, grab this, this in here, down here. Out, dismantle, grab this, put it there, stick that. Okay. Get out, dismantle, grab this here, stick that. Ah. Did I? These were tier two spreaders, right? I have three more to do. Oh yeah, because it was nine instead of eight. Okay, that's fine. We'll go get what we need. more alloy and one more uh, fertilizer. Right, let's grab our super alloy that we need. Uh, I believe our magnesium locker is full. Let me just double check. Yeah, it is. We will sink this stuff. Should have gone out the other side, it's fine. These guys do oxygen, you know what? Let me see something. I do have a let's mm, two explosive powder and uranium rod. Uranium rod might be a little tight. Oh, I have one. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? Two iron and cobalt. Concentration of these things. I mean, they're kind of. I put this like. You stick this right here and see what happens. See where's? Yeah. I think that'll. I mean, uh, they're kind of spread out all over the place, but I think based on the range. 
I don't know what the rings represent on this optimizer. I don't know if it means like the further, you know, if it's not inside the inner ring, it's not at full power. I don't know how that works, but. Oops. Oh, that's just hydration. Okay, I got plenty of water on me. Let's go to our water lockers and drop this stuff off. Hey. Isn't this a water locker? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's like I thought I had a water locker. Okay, third time's a charm on picking up this food. I've gone over here twice now and only filled up and not actually pulled food for my inventory. <laughs> so top off and fill up. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we got tier 2 flower spreaders, gas miners. So we're at the story quest now at uh, 51 minutes. So this is good. We're making good time today. Wow, that's really... Those tier 2s are really pumping out the flowers. <laughs> that's nuts. Alright, um, let's see what our O2 is at now. O2 in plants. Yeah, we're up to 13,636 on O2 now. We went from 1,200 and something plants to 2,593. So that's really good. Tier 2 food growers unlock at 35T. It's at 80T. So we got a little ways to go on our biomass and plants. We should probably work on that soon. Was that tier 5 heater? Oh, we have tier 5 drills too. Interesting. We're on insect level right now, right? We're trying to get to it. Yeah, we're almost there. All right, uh, story quest time. Let's do it. Um, we'll grab this guy. I'm gonna want a little more water. Where's my water cabinet? Uh, one, two. Oh, let's take five water with us. I think two food is enough. Um, grab a couple titanium out of here. Grab our three iron out of here. Grab a silicone out of here. Okay, three, two, one. We got water, food, O2. Okay, let's go. It doesn't seem like our O2 drain is affected at all. I mean, maybe it is. That little number underneath the bar represents how much we lose per second, right? Uh, so eventually we want to get that number to zero and then we just never lose oxygen. But our terraformation score has to be higher for that to happen. Uh, because that number is based off your terraformation score. Oops. Okay, we're going to top off our O2. 3, 2, 1. Okay. <clears throat> in the warden key, the wall opens for us. Push through. Oh, that's right, I can't jetpack in here. One of the few areas where you can't actually jetpack. We maybe grab a uh, screenshot of this just in case I want to use it for the Thumbnail. Okay. In we go. Okay. I don't see any text on this altar. So I'll go ahead and just grab the warden key. 
continue down this way. Definitely don't want to fall down there, I don't think. Can I fly? I cannot fly. Oh, we have buildings. We have a little city going on here. This is nuts. Oh, we got another warden key over here. Let's go ahead and put down our box. Good, I'm glad we can still live in... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, whoops. Since when can you not build here? Uh, wait a minute. I thought that was green when I first. Uh, this is a new development because it's a, you used to be able to build pods down here. Wow, we might have to hold off, folks. Yeah, I. this is a new development. You used to be able to build pods in these areas. Now, you, oh, unless I don't have enough. No, I do. Okay. Wonder if I can trick it, maybe? <laughs> I tried. Uh, yeah, this is problematic. Oops, wrong button. Okay, we gotta go. I only have one, um, let's double check that there's no text on this. Okay. Okay, we got the water filter. That's huge. Um, I don't know what to say, folks. Uh, we're not gonna be able to come down here and do this. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I could make a, just a ton of O2 tanks and come down here and explore this, but... I want to be able to take our time and, you know, explore it and see everything and not... Can I put... Can I put a box out here? Oh, man. That, that is a bad change, in my opinion, that the devs made. I mean, unless they're trying to gate it, right? Which which I guess they could be doing. They could be trying to gate it behind terraformation score and getting to the point where you're not consuming oxygen. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to hold off, folks. I, I, I'm sorry. I kind of teased you and showed you everything, and then we're not, we're not really going down there. Um, I mean, I could make you know, an inventory full of O2, and we could go down there and, and play around, but... Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Bring enough food and water with us. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I could use like a locker and a half of cobalt. I don't know. I, I will let you guys comment down in the uh, comment section of the video whether you want me to craft up a bunch of uh, O2 tanks and come back here and kind of do it with just O2 inventory or wait until we are much a little further along to where we're either not consuming oxygen at all or we have very low oxygen consumption. Um, so why don't you guys leave a comment down below, let me know what you want me to do, and I should have cleaned out my super alloy drill over there, let's do that. Um, and I'll go ahead and do that, whether you want me to wait, or whether you want me to, you know, craft up the O2 tanks and, and make this happen. Keep going the wrong way.
this top off. Um, I'll just use my what I had for my OS box. I'll just use for a storage cabinet. And we can dump this stuff in here and leave room for super alloy and stuff in the drill. Man, so much garbage. Okay. It's unfortunate because I wanted a lot more O2. Wait, did I just go the wrong way? Okay. Oh, I'm bombed. I wanted to do that story quest with you guys. Um, that was definitely a change. Uh, that the developers made between EA and 1.0 because you used to be able to build pods down in those areas then you could fully explore them because you could just pop in your pod now there's another story area where you could exploit the the fact that you could build you could kind of exploit it a little bit to get some high-end larva um, and maybe that's why they turned off building in those areas I mean, I would have thought that maybe they just turned it off in the one area where you could exploit, but... I don't know. Kind of a bummer, folks. Let me know what you want me to do, like I said, and I will uh, take that into account in the next episode, or, you know, I guess it'll be a few days, a few episodes from now, because I won't see your comments for a little bit, but I tend to record several days before I publish, so, you know, I might be a few more episodes down the road before I see your comments. All right, let's, uh... Put our super alloy back. Let's put this cobalt. I had did use some silicone, so we'll put whatever we use. I think we just use one. Use some titanium. We'll put that back. Iron. Put that back. I think this one's full. Oh, it's not. Let's fix that. Uh, magnesium still full. Yep. Okay. All right, let's see what we need for our, this water filter. Aluminum, let's pin it. <laughs> okay, that's maybe a little more useful than I thought, especially for someone like me. Silicone. And aluminum. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's test this out. This is actually huge for us. Look at that. We could drink right from the water. No more needing to carry water on us unless we, you know, think we're going to be somewhere without a body of water to drink from. So that's huge. We pretty much just need to keep one water on us, I think. Oops. Next row. Do that. Let's go to man-made. We'll drop both those keys off. What are these heat multipliers? Ooh. I don't have a uranium rod though. I forgot we did our tier four heaters over there and I didn't put optimizers down for it. All right, let's check out these reactors. I don't know that we need the incubator just yet, so, or the auto crafter. Food. Oh yeah. Oh, 1500 energy. Oh, 1485. Um, it would be huge for us for power if I could get two of these down. It's 10 super uh, pulsar quartz. I don't think I have 10 pulsar quartz. Oh, I do. Eight super alloy? I don't know that I have eight super alloy. Oh, I do. Uh, 
I don't remember how big these are. Let me see. Um, will they fit on... Yeah, they do. Okay. Let's grab some iron. Uh, one, two. Uh, do I want to do this here is the question. What's our time at? One minute, one hour and six minutes. There's an area I like building my power plants. Okay. I'm low on super alloy. What can we do next? I guess we're just at the point where we need to do more of everything. So we can do heat optimizers. Well, let me go see if we unlocked any new rockets. I'm trying to figure out if I want to start on a power plant or if I want to just keep doing infrastructure stuff. Oxygen multiplier. Seed spreader rocket. Wait, did we not do a seed spreader rocket yet? Ooh. Okay, so we got some rockets to do. The other thing I need to do is I need to look at making that screen that tells us how many of each rocket we have so I can balance them out. Alright, um, I'm just gonna plop these two reactors down here now just so we have power uh, to do stuff. And, um, I wanna put these over here. Can I put these over here? Let's see. They're super compact too, which is really nice. Oops. Top off our O2 here. Who's not paying attention? See how much smaller they are? <laughs> Take up one tile and they're like super tiny. Now my a power plant that I built in my early access hardcore playthrough um, was open air. I don't know if I want to do the same type of concept this time around. I want to try and make some fresh stuff for you guys. Yeah, so now we have 3,400 power. So we've got a fair amount of power to work with. Um, I wanna take a look at that screen that I need. Where is it? I think it's this orbital information screen. So let's make a compass, osmium, silicone. We need for that compass chip. Two aluminum, magnesium, silicone. Osmium silicone. We want to put that, I guess, just along the bottom here. Did I make the map screen? I did, but I don't think we can use it yet because we haven't launched the rocket yet. Someone left that in the comments too. Let me know that we couldn't use the screen or the map chip until we got the proper rockets in orbit. Which means we might not be able to use this screen either, but. That's a little bit forward. Let me uh, do this.
Okay, there we go. Oh, so we went a little crazy on heat rockets, actually. <laughs> we have no seed spreader, only one plant rocket. Okay. Unfortunately, all the rockets that we need to launch are gonna, um... Are gonna require super alloy, which we don't have a lot of. And we just cleaned the drill out relatively recently. I mean, I guess, well, I said I've been stockpiling stuff. Let's, let's, uh, let's, I guess, make some super alloy. Let me go top off my food real quick, and we'll make some super alloy, and then we'll clean out the drills. We'll go do another round of clean out on the drills, and then we'll see where we're sitting after that. Oh, I wanted to put that tier one drill in the aluminum fields. Let's do that real quick. Two osmium. Okay, let me top off my food. Let me grab. Wait, I have a green bean on me, right? Okay, I have water on me. Okay, let's see what we need for this. Two osmium. Let's pin it. I'm gonna get in the habit of just pinning and not trying to remember it. It'll help keep my inner dialogue to a minimum. <laughs> Although I think I'm probably running low on osmium. I'm getting a little low on osmium and. Maybe iridium? Oh, I got a fair amount of iridium still. Super alloy, aluminum. Alloy, oops. Aluminum and titanium. Okay, got what we need for that. I'm gonna go pop this uh, tier one drill in the aluminum fields and we'll see what happens. I am, unless something got bugged, I'm sorry, my, my, uh, I use a, a, a high definition 4K TV for my display and it just decided to pop up a, a message about needing to update its software. Um, I'm pretty confident, like 100% sure that in early access, tier one drills did not get aluminum out here. At least I don't think so. Um, why can't I put this down? What's going on? Do I not have the stuff? No, I do. There we go. Oh, it does say aluminum. How about that? Wow. Good tip. Good tip, viewer, whoever you were. I apologize I didn't write your name down, but uh, man, I could have sworn that was not the case in early access, but you know, maybe I'm remembering wrong. It has been known to happen. <laughs> Good call on that. <laughs> so now we have a source of aluminum. I don't have to constantly be scrounging. Um, all right, we were gonna do some super alloy construction. Let's do that. Give the drill some time to get caught up. And we it'll give us some ability to clear down some of these lockers. Um, oops, three, four, five. Oops, five, 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 one, two, three, four, which one am I missing? Oh, uh, magnesium. I have a Kate almost. Yeah, I have almost two lockers of aluminum. And now we've got a drill making aluminum, so yay. Uh, yes, here, right? Oops. How many lockers of iron do I have? One and a quarter, okay. This makes me think of Stardew Valley, this song. Every time it comes on. I'm going to say this every time it does, too, so you guys are going to get tired of me saying it. Um, okay, one, two, three. I need cobalt, silicone, uh, 
I mean, this probably isn't good to do at this point in time since we do have a tier two drill in the super alloy. But I mean, we have lockers overflowing and we have uh, drills that are backed up. So, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world we could be doing. I feel like I should be watering crops right now. <laughs> uh... Actually, I just thought of something. Oh, dare I do this? Let's see. Two osmium and a super. Okay. Oops. Five. Six, seven, eight. Take advantage of our new technology. And uh, not only drink lake water, but not manually make super alloy. Um, question is, let's do this. Mm, dang it, let's, uh, let's put this back. down here it did two hundred and one power jeez oh Pete see how much time this is saving I mean, it's gonna clean out our lockers for sure. But as long as I'm not auto delivering, which I can't do because I don't have drones. Um, now, typically, what I do is I put a second floor on this. I put auto crafters upstairs so they get access to all of the lockers. But for now, I'll just put it at the end of the row and it should be able to get all the. I mean, we can tell it can get all the elements it needs. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So one screen of that is... Oh, wait a minute. It's, it's one per. So one, two, three four five six seven eight so it's eight per and we have five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five four times eight is thirty two so it's like four full four full harvest per locker yeah that was a way better decision <laughs> putting down that auto crafter be taking one at yeah okay we already have three titaniums oh we got messages okay we'll take a look at those new blueprint received trade space rocket okay um i'll clean this out and we'll let it go one more time and then i'll let it sit there and we'll go clean our drills out and restock some of these cabinets. I should, 
clean out the methane drills too. We'll just do a clean out and a harvest right now. Silicone, oops, where's my other silicone lacquer? There we go, make that full, go here. I don't know which, how it determines which ones it pulls from, but whatever. Let's make sure it's not pulling from that lacquer yet. Okay, let's do that. Iron locker, magnesium locker, cobalt locker, okay. That was a way better way to make that uh, make that alloy, the auto crafter. Probably want to go clean out the aluminum drill in a little bit too. That is huge. I had no idea tier one drill in aluminum field would get aluminum. I mean, that that's just huge. Silicone, cobalt, titanium, magnesium, uh, iron. to go there. I'm wondering if I should replace those tier ones with tier two drills also at some point. Let's go here. No, oh, here. Okay, that's full. Six. All right. I was gonna harvest those two if I had the inventory space, but I, I I don't have it to clear them both out fully, so we'll hold off. Museum's full. Let's see. I mean, let's just do this. Why is this not working? Oh, okay, it is. This is not pulling from that magnesium locker. Oh, geez. I didn't realize it was pulling from this locker. Let's do this. It's still pulling from that locker? Yeah, okay. It's the only downside when you have multiple lockers and you have a system and then you put an auto crafter and it doesn't really abide by your system. <laughs> Imagine that. out. Methane off. Where did I put out? O2. Probably put oxygen. Wait, I did. Okay. Let's go drink some lake water. Let's go see if we can do some harvesting. Then what I want to do is get an optimizer down for the heaters. Um, let's go here. I've been holding off on doing more with the farm until we get the tier 2 grow tubes. Because that just makes sense, right? To fill this all out with tier 2s instead of tier 1s. So that's kind of what I've been waiting for. 
I need to get some more squash grow tubes. We're, we're plowing. I mean, it's maintaining, but I mean, we're not getting extra, and we're gonna need extra for tier two fertilizer. Yeah, but I just said I'm waiting for the tier two grow tubes. Yeah, we'll just wait. Two. Let's over here for mushrooms. I need more bioplastic nuggets. Um, let's fill out our eggplant locker, and then we'll put the rest of this over there, and then I'm going to grab all of these mushrooms. I'm going to fill my inventory. Well, do I want to fill my inventory with mushrooms? Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. That should be ten bioplastic nuggets. Grab some bottled waters. Let's take what we can. Drop off this eggplant. Go get more water. Oh, I need silicone? Hmm. Okay. Perfect. Let's grab our stuff back out of here. Okay. Let's get that optimizer built for the heaters. So I need a uranium rod. Oh, I might be out of uranium. I'm gonna have to go get some two heat powders. Let's do this. I gotta remember, I'm gonna get in the habit of pinning. Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough uranium. Jeez. Do we make a trip over the uranium? Fields. Yeah, let's do that. Um. Stop off over here, top off our water. Man, with the water drain the way it is, being able to drink from lakes is huge. Huge. Check on this aluminum drill and see how it's doing. Hopefully it has more aluminum than garbage. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harvest it right now though because I wanna get as much uranium as I can. I mean it's working, it's pulling aluminum. It's good. Just top off our O2 here. trip over to the uranium cave. <clears throat> it's going to be so nice when we get drones. We can go and collect this stuff up for us. Oh, we got another, we got a couple of messages. We'll probably want to do I want to grab this stuff? I don't want that garbage. I don't want that stuff either. Wow, that's a good haul. Oh, 
Uh... I'm just gonna use this for now and just dump this stuff in here. That way when we go back through we can, uh... Where am I going? This way. Uh, when we go back through the aluminum fields I can pull the aluminum out of the, uh, aluminum drill. It's gonna make it fill up with garbage though, but I mean, eh, I'll, co I'll go by and clean it back out later. It's not like we're hurting for aluminum, I think we have like uh, at least a chest. Oh, excuse me. Alright, we're at an hour and 30 minutes. Um, we'll get this optimizer down in the heaters and then we will call that an episode. Real, pro real, real progress made today. Uh, we tested the tier one aluminum drill in the aluminum fields, found out that uh, from the viewer tip that it will <clears throat> actually pull aluminum, which is really cool. <clears throat> we put down some more tier two miners. Uh, we got down our tier two flower spreaders. We built out our power grid. We have some uh, nuclear fusion reactors now. Uh, we put down some gas miners. I'm okay with today's episode. Made a lot of good progress. We automated our super alloy creation for when we get in those pinches and need super alloy. That was good. Uh, silicone. Oh, I don't have any silicone on me. Okay. Titanium. Cobalt, iron, aluminum, uranium. Let's see how many uranium rods we can get. Okay, two. Uh, we need one. We need two explosive powder. Maybe we have that. We do. Two iron and a cobalt. Okay, let's grab our optimizer for ox or for heat. It'll be that guy. I might be able to just plop this down like right in the middle here. Let's see if I can. Oh, I can. That's fantastic. I put it dead center in the middle. Let's see, we got one, two, we have two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, we have one, two. Oh, we have six. Uh. Mm, that's scary. Single meteor? Hold on, what was that? What did that drop? I can't tell. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Now I can't put my, uh, optimizer down either. What did that drop? Did that drop anything? I mean, that was a huge meteor came out of the sky and crashed down. Oh, look at that. It's super alloy. It was a giant super al or a pulsar quartz meteor. Shit. How do I get this? Can I get this now? Uh, can I get this now? Why can't I cannot get that? That was huge. Wow, that was huge. That was awesome. 
Oh, now I can't put my platforms back, though. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Uh, I'd have to tear out... It's because of the heaters. Devs, if you're watching, if we can clip things into platforms, we should be able to put the platforms back. I mean, maybe it's because of the boulders. Maybe it's because of the boulders and not the heaters. We'll wait and let the stuff clear out and see what happens. Um, let's get this. Uh, do I have an O2 tank on me? I do. I wanted to put this uh, optimizer right there, and all these boulders are in the way, fortunately. Fine, we'll just locate it here, we'll move it later. It's just it's time to get the episode over with. Boom. Alright, we'll see what that did for our heat. I forgot about that meteor storm. Uh, where it's just a single meteor full of pulsar cords. That's awesome. Alright, let's drop off our pulsar cords. We'll check our heat values. I mean, that's cool. That's two more nuclear reactors right there. It's fantastic. I have to remember to put those platforms back, too. All right, let's check our heat score. We got some messages we'll check on before we end the episode. So now our heat is at 664,211. So that's good. Terraformation score is slowly going up. I'm gonna need to work on that a little bit. All right, let's take a look at our Hey, we got another message from Riley. I've conducted a deep scan of the planet and something is off. I'm getting strange geological signatures and incoherent topographical data near your location. Try to get to this place. Negative 248-4293. Use the bottom left corner of your interface to find your way around. So this is um, how you would normally learn about the story quests that I've been taking you on. Uh, but I just knew where they were, so we just went. But you would... You would See, get this message and go to those coordinates, which I believe those coordinates are the mushroom forest where we first went. After months of hard work, I finally managed to find my way into the Sentinel unlocking process and unlock the space trading rocket on your system. Usually terraformers are not able to do this, but it should help you. Chances of surviving are greatly improved when it's activated, but Sentinel almost never allows this for planet crafters. I have no way to tell if you are still alive or not. If only we could see each other again. Do you have any more messages? Oh, there is isn't. Oh, there's Sentinel Corp. Our sensors detected that the conditions on your planet should ensure wild larvae on the surface. Place the larvae in the incubator to breed endemic species of bees and butterflies. You need this species to fulfill your mission and increase the speed of your terraformation process. You're being closely watched. Let us remind you that you shouldn't use communication devices to contact anyone other than Sentinel Corp. So they're aware of our little exchanges here with Riley and they don't like it. Awesome. All right, I think we'll end it there, folks. Oh, we got to insect stage, so now we're in breathable atmosphere stage. Um, fantastic. All right, I appreciate you all hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Uh, the next time we start, we have some normal housekeeping stuff to do, but I want to get our rockets equal. So um, over here on this screen, we, are, we don't have any uh, seed spreader rockets. We only have one plant. We have five uh, pressure and nine heat. So I'm going to want to get all of these to say nine, right? So we're going to work on doing a bunch of rockets in the next episode. All right. Till then, uh, well, until I see you all again, enjoy your gaming and we'll talk again soon. Take care. Bye for now.